I just bought. Has this ever happened to you? Your wife or roommate begins behaving erratically and absolutely frantic out of nowhere. I'm sorry, who are you? Shh, quiet. Men are speaking. You see, this condition is often referred to as hysteria. And up until now, there's never really been a cure. Until now. You already said. I said, shh, quiet. I'm Silas Warren Mitchell, and I'm here to tell you about the rest cure. You've probably heard of it by now because my findings are quite influential. But just in the case that you haven't, allow me to walk you through the treatment process so you may try this in your own home. The first thing you will need to do is make sure that the patient is, in fact, hysterical. I am concerned about your mental health. Excuse me? So sad. After you've had confirmation in the hysteria patient, you or trusted officials will need to escort the patient to a safe and secure location. No! 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 After the patient has been relocated to a safe and secure location, they will need to be gently moved to a restful space. Typically a bed works best as you can see. Sometimes if the patient is unwilling to be treated, you may be required to take forceful measures. For example, Sarah here has a very severe form of hysteria to the point in which she believes that it does not affect her. However, as you can see here, it is quite harmful, which is why we have taken the extra steps to ensure her improvement. After the patient is secure, they will need to be cut off from all types of social interaction and creativity, force fed a fatty, milky based diet, and overall be treated like an adult sized infant. This process will need to last six to eight weeks for full effectiveness. A nurse will be needed to keep them clean and well fed. It's also important to note that while the patient rests, their muscles may require a heavy dosage of electrotherapy to maintain their nice muscle tone. And there you have it, my 100% foolproof method to curing hysteria and bettering the lives of not only your wife or roommate, but for yourself as well. Isn't that right, Sarah? I'm Silas Wire Mitchell, and this has been The Rest Cure. How was your poop? I'll come up behind like you are. Because that's your We lit, you know we out here. Iowa <laughs> Western. Can you get my shoe out? No. Oh, oh my god. Can I have your wallet? You always try to steal my money. I am concerned about your mental health. 